adding polynomials. To add polynomials, practically, we are combining like terms. On this first example, I want to write why that works. We can just drop parentheses and add combine like terms. If you notice, I could write this as 1 times 5x to the 4th minus 4x squared quantity plus 1 times negative 8x to the 4th plus 3x squared quantity. The 1's, I added those in. Okay, I could have written it, I could write it, write it without those. Well, if I distribute those, that won't change anything. So this becomes 5x to the 4th minus 4x squared plus a negative 8x to the 4th plus 3x squared. So I can distribute that, or I can just drop the parentheses and combine like terms. That's what we're going to do in practicality. And we're actually applying this. So let's combine 5x to the 4th and then negative 8x to the 4th to be negative 3x to the 4th. Now we have some x squared terms, negative 4x squared plus 3x squared. Negative 4 plus 3 would be negative 1, so that would be minus x squared. So negative 3x to the 4th minus x squared. Our next example is parentheses 7n to the 4th plus 9n, that's our first polynomial, plus in parentheses 2n minus 9n to the 4th plus 6. Again, we can combine like terms, so notice we have a 7n to the 4th minus 9 into the 4th. I start with the highest exponent I see. 7 minus 9 would be negative 2. So this would be negative 2 into the 4th. We also have a 9n and a 2n we can combine. 9 plus 2 would be 11, so that's plus 11n. Now I'll bring down the plus 6. So that this becomes negative 2 into the 4th plus 11n plus 6. Now in this last addition example, we have the first polynomial, 2a squared b minus 4ab plus b squared plus our second polynomial, 5a squared b minus 3ab plus 7b squared. We have to look for like terms. Remember, the exponents have to match exactly. So that means 2a squared b and 5a squared b are like terms. So together that would be 7a squared b. Next we have a minus 4ab term and a minus 3ab term. Adding those together we have minus 7ab. And last, we have plus b squared and a plus 7b squared, which together would make plus 8b squared. So this results in negative 7a squared b, minus 7ab plus 8b squared. Now let's subtract a few polynomials. So to subtract, we can, again, practically, change all the signs of the second polynomial and then add the result to the first polynomial. That would be because, as we stated earlier, subtraction just indicates changing the signs. So it's the opposite of that second polynomial. So I'm going to write this first one. We'll start, it is 7a to the 4th minus 6, that's our first polynomial, minus negative 8a to the 4th plus 9a squared is our second polynomial. So I'm going to rewrite this as 7a to the 4th minus 6 plus, and I'm going to take the opposite of the second polynomial, that would be 8a to the 4th minus 9a squared. Now I'll combine my a to the 4th term, 7a to the 4th, and 8a to the 4th to be 15 a to the 4th. And there are no other terms it can combine, so I'll bring down the minus 9a squared and the minus 6. So that this becomes 15 a to the 4th minus 9a squared minus 6. For our next example, my first polynomial is negative 7 n to the 4th plus 5 n minus my second polynomial, negative 6 plus 8 n to the 4th minus 1. Again, I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to bring down my first polynomial, negative 7 n to the 4th plus 5 n plus 
we're going to take the opposite of the second polynomial, which is 6 minus 8 into the fourth plus 1. Now I can combine my negative 7 into the fourth and negative 8 into the fourth terms. So that is negative 15 into the fourth. I only have one n term, so I'll bring down the plus 5n. And then I have three, no, just two like terms. I have plus 6 and a plus 1. That will come down as a plus 7. So that my resulting polynomial is negative 15 n to the fifth plus 5 n plus 7. For our last example of subtraction, my first polynomial is 2 a squared b minus 4 a b plus b squared minus my second polynomial, which is 5 a squared b minus 3 a b plus 7 b squared. I will rewrite this as 2a squared b, just bringing down my first polynomial, minus 4ab plus b squared, plus, I'm going to take the opposite of the second polynomial. That will be minus 5a squared b, plus 3ab, minus 7b squared. Now, I'm looking for terms that have the same variables and the same exponents, so that 2a squared b, minus 5a squared b, those two I can combine. Together that becomes negative 3a squared b. Next my ab terms, negative 4ab plus 3ab. Together that would be negative 1, so minus ab. And I have my b squared term and my negative 7b squared term. So 1 minus 7 be minus 6, so minus 6 b squared. So that this, the resulting polynomial is negative 3 a squared b minus ab minus b squared.